Hello everybody, it's Firelight457 and it's time for addressable system test number 19 of the Firelight MS9600 UDLS system. So anyways, let's get started. <laughs> This system test was requested by Fire Alarm Discovery, and I have a little expansion out in the hallway that I'm going to show y'all. But for now, coming up here, NAC 1, he requested the System Sensor L Series. It's set on Code 3 Horn low volume, and the strobe. Don't know if y'all can see that, but the strobe is on 15 Candela. And then coming over here in Act 2, it requested the System Sensor P2W. This is also on Code 3 Horn, low volume. The reason I have both of these on low volume is because they are insanely loud together on high volume. That I think that'd be a little bit too much. So... Again, the strobe on this is set to, you can't really see that that good, but it's on 15 Candela. Down here for the first conventional pull station, he requested the BG-10. Which I believe I will be pulling first today. Coming over here by Lowly and Up, Sea Eaters, he requested the Firelight BG-12L. Here I got the... Firelight SD-365, which I will not be testing today. And next to it I got the Firelight H3, H-365, which I, again I will also not be testing today. Down here, I got the Firelight BG12 LX, which I will be pulling today. Over here, I got the RTS 151 test switch, which I will not be testing today. Up above that, I got the Simplex 2098905, which I will be testing today. Coming out here in the hallway, I got the Notifier MBG12LX, which I will not be pulling today. And then coming up above that, you see all this wire, and it's going right to. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I now have a smoke detector in the hallway now. This is a Firelight H355. Take the head off so I can show y'all. You can't really see it, but it's an H355. And sorry about that, my panel just went into trouble because I took the head off. Then coming up here, got this new Firelight H355 heat detector. This thing is fixed temp only, and it's fixed at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. But again, this can also be tested with a magnet, so I will be activating this today. And as usual, got the Wheelock E70. And now I'm not going to show it, but over in the bathroom, I have the Wheelock RSS. I here got the Wheelock CHCF1 connected to the supervisory system, which, again, I will not be doing the supervisory system today. Coming up here above the enunciators, I have the System Sensor 2400, which I will be testing today with... I'm sorry, I will not be testing this today. Alright, well, 
that's enough review of the system now we're gonna go ahead and start the activation and now before I activate the system please do not pull fire alarms in real buildings or tamper with any life safety equipment out in public I'll not be responsible for your actions if you choose to do so and please do not watch if you have epilepsy to flashing strobes or lights forgot to mention that both of the NACs are on system sensor sync so they both will be doing two wire selective silence All right, and we're going to start by pulling the Firelight BG-10. Headphone users, I recommend you turn down your volume in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, as you can see, we got two wire selective silence. And we're going to go ahead and reactivate with the BG 12LX. Here we go. I don't know why the, the strobe on the Spectral Advance is not flashing, but, anyways, here we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and reset these pull stations. It's weird that the strobe on the L-Series is only flashing on audible silence and uh, the strobe on the Advanced is not flashing for some reason. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go into the main fire alarm control panel and we're going to hit System Reset. Alright, I'm here at the Annunciator. Everything's back to normal. So now we're just going to go ahead and pull the BG 12L in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, now let's go ahead and reset this pull station. Now since we're right here at the enunciator, we're just going to go ahead and reset from the enunciator. Alright, now that I've done everything in my room, I'm going to go ahead and um, activate the S365 with a little bit of smoke saver. So, I'm just going to hold a Spray a little bit up to the detector and that should be enough to activate it. 
Here we go. With the strobes in activation, we're going to go ahead and activate the heat detector. Now I'm just using this little handy dandy little heat detector tester, which is basically just my hammer. I put a magnet on it and I'm just, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold it right up to the heat detector and that should activate it. So here we go. As you see, we got two events in the panel, two detectors that have been activated. So to clear the detectors, we're just going to go ahead and hit System Reset. And I'll get back to y'all just as soon as this resets. Make sure that the detector doesn't reactivate again. Well, this is going to do it for... System test number 19 of the Firelight MS9600 UDLS system, everybody. Special shout out to Fire Alarm Discovery for requesting this setup. And also be sure to check them out. And, be, and if you'd like to request a system test on my addressable system or on my main system, the description on what to do will be in the description in this video. And it will also be in the description in my collection video. And as always, be sure to check out my other Fire Alarm videos. I have tons of content out there you do not want to miss. Hit the like button, and I will see you next time. And before I go, I was just wondering if it would be possible to put back boxes on the ceiling with thumbtacks since the ceiling and the walls in my house are made of plaster. I'm thinking maybe the thumbtacks... It just creates just a tiny hole, but it can be re it can be painted over or something like that. So, y'all comment below what I if I should put some back boxes on the ceiling with thumbtacks. And I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.